Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Pete and I'm glad you're here. Today we are going to be building a sweet and tiny strawberry patch for Bee and redoing her home's interior. I am so excited to show you guys how it turns out because it is so cute. It is perfectly sized for Bee and it has just an adorable little strawberry patch. Um, so I am super excited for this build and I hope you guys enjoy it. So next up is the terraforming. We have just a teeny tiny amount of terraforming to do today, um, right out front of the lavender field. I wanted this area to be just kind of a jutting cliff face where I could connect the path from the lavender field to the actual strawberry patch and then have it kind of wrap around back towards the marketplace. Um, so just having a teeny tiny little cliff face here um, is all we're gonna do for terraforming. And now it's time to connect the pathway. So I wanted this to have just a little tiny lead in to where the actual strawberries were going to be connected. So I have the path where it connects here and then it will lead into the, uh, to the house. Um, and back here is <laughs> something I'm really excited about. It is a teeny tiny little barn. Um, finally, I get to use the little lace code with the wood um, and I love that little code. So this is just a cute little mock-up barn uh, for, you know, storing the lavender, storing her supplies, making sure everything that she has to run this little lavender field and strawberry house and, you know, the bees, all of that, all of her supplies are right here in this little barn. Now we're going to go back into um, pathing a little bit. Uh, since I know where the barn and where the house is going to be, I can now finish out getting the path to them fully fleshed out. So for the actual strawberry field, I tried to be a little bit creative. Um, so all of the strawberry patches for that um, that are around where I am um, usually have like these big bushes and the strawberries around them just kind of fill in um, that kind of space. So when you go to like pick strawberries, it's like just rows and rows and rows of these huge bushes and strawberries um, that are surrounding them. So I tried to kind of recreate that feeling by placing the strawberries in these little um, circles around the actual bushes. Um, it 
turned out really cute, I thought. Um, it leaves a lot of space for the, you know, extra decor that's going to go in around the strawberries, but it also helps the strawberries feel a little bit more structured in where they're going to be at. Um, it makes it feel like it's a little bit more of an actual farm um, and an actual little strawberry patch. So I'm super pleased with how it came out. And of course, um, I've also got some more apiaries for B, uh, because I wanted B to be my little beekeeper, <laughs> specifically, specifically so I could say that B is the beekeeper. <laughs> so she has all of her little bees, her lavender fields, her strawberry patch, all of that is for her little bees and her honey. Um, so I'm super excited uh, with how this turned out. Over here um, I decided to have a tiny little seating area because you know what is a strawberry patch without a place to enjoy it uh, so I used the log bench with the um, wooden plank table and I think it turns out so cute it looks like a tiny little picnic bench so I love that combination and I'm gonna be using it again A few kind of finishing touches on this outside here. I've got a few extra flowers, a few little tiny decor items to really make the place feel a little bit more lived in, a little bit more full. Um, this is just a little tiny laundry area for B. Um, I've got some extra flowers that are not associated really with lavender or with um, the strawberry patch. Uh, so that's I could just gonna fill that area in a little bit, make it feel a little bit more lush. Um, making sure everything here is just as colorful and as bright um, and as full, but not overcrowded as we can get it. And now it is time for the last finishing touches. This is where we're going to drop the mushrooms, going to drop a few weeds, and it's ready to go. It is so cute. This little strawberry patch, it's tiny, it perfectly fits in with the rest of it, and I'm so pleased with it. So now we're going to move on to Bee's actual home. Um, so for her house, I wanted to give her um, the little Sakura window illusion, um, and I wanted her to have a little kitchen slash apartment for her... Um, uh, the bees, uh, the honey from the bees, I mean. Uh, I wanted a place where she could actually, you know, do stuff with that. So I give her a little, uh, a little kitchen, and then I give her a tiny seating room and a tiny bedroom. So as it's all coming together, um, I wanted the bee's house to be very inviting and very comforting. Um, so that's why she has all the low furniture, um, the ranch style furniture, all of that makes it feel just kind of a little bit old timey and classic. Um, I gave her the Nordic shelves so that she would have a place to rest her books. Um, the bookshelf because, you know, if you're going to be running um, a beekeeper apiary and making all of this honey, you're going to need to know what you're doing. So having a little bit of research, keeping up on the times, all of that sort of stuff um, is ready for her as well. Um, she's got a little kitchen where she can make her honey, uh, make sure that she has all of those things ready to go, you know, make a nice meal at the end of the day. All of that is ready for her in her tiny little house.
this window illusion, um, I might change it up in the future. I it it looks different here, um, and in the voice not voiceover in the flyover later it's going to be a different code, and I'm still not quite satisfied with the other code either. So I might change up this window illusion, but for the moment it does look pretty medieval and it looks it looks all right. So I'm going to keep it for now, but in the future it might change. That's it. So as we close up, I hope this was inspiring to you. I hope you enjoyed watching Bee's little uh, strawberry patch come together. I hope you enjoyed watching her house, and I hope you had a good time today. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.